Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jaser. So in this video, I'm going to solve another problem on BFE.dev. It's implement promise all. I think we use promise every day. So have you ever wondered how to implement promise all by yourself? It's uh, problem 32 on BFE. Um, yeah, the promise all method takes an iterable promises input and it returns a single promises promise that resolves to an array of the results of the input promise. So yeah, it's basically the promise all, right? Okay, so let's do it. I say the parameters are array any. Okay, so notice input might have non promises. I see. So the promise may be some uh, plain values, right? So suppose that all of the input is all of the input are promises. The idea is actually pretty simple. We will chain a fulfill handler and error handler to each promise when they are resolved or when they are fulfilled. We will collect their value, the resolved value, to an array. And if when all the promises are uh, uh, fulfilled, we will resolve this promise, right? The final promise. If one not once the error happens, we will reject that right away. So and after error, there will might be a more promise that to be. Uh, fulfilled or uh, re uh, rejected and we need to keep a flag to ignore them right so what we need actually will be a uh, result uh, I'm sorry of course at the beginning we should return a new a promise I'm not a I'm sorry a promise resolve reject we just uh, we we'll just need to determine the timing of resolve and reject right Create a result array, and there will be is error flag false, and uh, yeah, we will promises uh, for each. We will add a fulfill handler. Uh, this is promise promise then value. And this is error. Because the promises might be fulfilled in different order, so we cannot push, right? We need to use the index to set them to the right position. So result index to value, right? And before we set, we need to check if it is error or not. If error happens, we will ignore them. So return. And how would we know that all the promises are resolved? We actually need to check the amount of the, the length of the count result, right? But then the result, yeah, it could be a result. I think even if it is sparse array, the length, mm, oh no. If I said the length actually won't cover the, uh, the sparse array problem, right? I mean, if I said uh, array, there's one fathom equals one. Error the length. Yeah, you, you see. Even even though there is only one element there, the length will be one thousand. Cool. And uh, so we need to another way. We need another way to check if they are uh, resolved or not. So actually, it's very simple. Let uh, resolved fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Fulfilled. The spelling is right. Fulfilled. Okay. Fulfilled account equals zero. If it is a result, uh, fulfilled, we increment it. And if equals to promises, then it's this means that all the promises are filled, right? So we just resolve the result. So this will be no problem. And when once error happens, we do the error check again. And uh, we just reject it right away, right? Reject error, and don't forget to update the flag. True. Okay, the last problem. All the input might have the input might have uh, something else than promise. So we, what we do, they will be treated as plain values, right? So if we need to update them. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Should I modify it? Leave the promises the array. Yeah, okay, I will say wrapped promises. I, I don't want to modify the the origin original promises. So I will say uh, wrapped promises equals promises map item item okay if it is already a promise instance of promise then item right if not we just wrap it with resolve item cool so this is this is a, a rat um, I'll just use underscore okay this is looks better Mm, cleanse promises. Uh, uh, yeah, I just underscore here. Sorry, I don't have a better name for this. Okay, so this will be promises. This, so this original argument will not be used anymore. We use promises here. Cool. This is it. I think let's run the code. Mm, promise is prom z. 9.11 prom z okay oops there's no prom z promises promises map promise promise resolve item new hmm? something oh it doesn't look good <laughs> it doesn't look good so if it is empty we should re resolve right away the spec is this should be resolved to empty. Hmm? Empty. Ah, I see. If it is empty, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. If it is empty, there is no fulfilled handler be called. So, yeah. Resolve if empty. Cool. So I will just uh, return promise resolve empty array, right? Great! I love this. So this is it. I hope it helps. I think there is a improve improvement for the uh, resolved here. This is for convenience, I think. Actually, I think I could filter out the real promises and the add uh, the fulfilled handler here for the rest for the rest of values. It will be initialized into this result array. Could we do this now? Uh, yeah, I think I can. Um, but I won't do this. I'll leave it to you. Uh, it's a minor improvement. The basic idea, the core logic here doesn't change. So yeah, that's all for this one. Hope it helps. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.